Shall we move on to uh, to the next one? Yes. Okay. So I thought I'd highlight some of my favorite network tools to cool. help diagnose what's going on. I like it. Or when things go wrong. Sure. Um, so the first one is network utility. Now, unfortunately, I don't know why Apple did this, but uh, Big Sur... They deprecated it. If you try to run it, it'll say, yeah, sorry, um, you're going to have to run all this stuff from the command line. The good news is that you can take a version of network utility from a earlier version of Mac OS, and it runs just fine under Big Sur. Nice. So again, I don't know why they did this. Um, the part that I like, so it, it, you know, do, you know, port mapping and ping and trace route and, and all that stuff which you can, again, run from the command line. But the one thing that I like with this is that it has an info screen um, that'll show you statistics that I don't know how to get from the command line, Dave. Okay. Um, so it'll, um, the one that I think is most interesting is that it'll show you send and receive errors. Um, oh, you can see that from the command line. Uh, I will find the command. I believe it's... Uh, keep going. I think it's IP config. Um, okay, maybe. Uh, all right. I thought it was maybe netstat, but, uh, or it could be IP config. I I F config will I show config. you that okay. stuff. I think. I think I'm looking here. Mm, no, it doesn't seem like it does. It doesn't seem like. Yeah. It does. If one of you knows, send us an email. Feedback at macgeekgab dot com. Yeah, and if your network is working properly, um, you can send something to feedback at macgeekgab.com that's right yes in fact it often requires a working network to send to feedback at macgeekgab.com so um the part that i think is useful is again uh, uh, uh typically if you get tons of send and receive errors you probably have a bad cable yeah um so this can help uh, resolve that um next up um this is the tool that i think you made me aware of dave but um it's one of my favorites, iPerf3. What does iPerf3 do? It basically lets you check your network throughput. Um, so you get your favorite package manager and uh, iPerf3 will be in there somewhere, um, homebrew or, or otherwise. Um, and then basically you run it on one machine in server mode and then you run it and oh you're running it look at that look at you go you you keep talking i i got you man i got you covered <laughs> yep so iper3 is a great tool to check your network throughput to make sure everything is working properly okay um yep. next up um this is something that you may not know exists but we're going to tell you about it um so there's a Wi-Fi menu in the um, in your menu bar. You know, it's little radio waves here. If you click on that, um, no matter what version of the OS you're running, it'll show you some things. Like you can turn it on and off. It'll show you uh, available hotspots like I'm looking right now. And it's like, oh, you can connect to your uh, iPhone 12 uh, as a hotspot if you want. Um, and it shows my, uh, you know, my network. Um, here's the fun thing about it is that if you hold down option and click on that menu, you get a whole boatload of additional information to the network that you're connected to. So I see the IP address, the router, uh, what version of security, the BSS ID, uh, channels, uh, gigahertz, 80 megahertz, um, et cetera. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, just if you have set if you have set up there's an app called Wi-Fi Explorer in there that is that I've kind of I've found uh, okay. way better than iStumbler just in terms it shows all the same data the presentation of it has helped me in troubleshooting more than the way the iStumbler presents data so if you've got set up check out Wi-Fi Explorer for sure Oh yeah Okay um all right. Well, you you beat me to the chase. <laughs> so, um, iStumbler um, was one of the first tools I used that will show you various information um, 
mostly for di uh, seeing what is surrounding you in the Wi-Fi world. Um, and in the old days, what would happen is uh, it, it would show you what channel that you're on, and it would also show what channel other people were on in your neighborhood. Um, Eero, uh, prior access points that I have would actually let you set the channel, um, like Apple's Airport and, and stuff like that. Um, I don't think the Eero lets you do that. It just kind Mo of figures it most out. Most mesh setups choose their own channels and leave you out mm -hmm. of the mix. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yep. Okay. And right. Wi-Fi Explorer, they just lay it out better so that you can easily see, oh, you know, that channel is stacked with people. I want to be over here. So you don't have to, like, you don't have to process the data. It just shows it to you graphically. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, another tool that I ran into, and this um, is probably more appropriate for enterprise users, but uh, as an individual, you can run it too. And I've actually done this. Um, NetSpot. So NetSpot also will do Wi-Fi uh, analysis, but here's the cool thing that it does um, that I think other tools do, but um, it lets you do what's known as a site survey. So okay. what you do is you import a map of your premises into it, and then you you start running it, and it will basically once you're done and then you'll say you know sample the wi-fi sample the wi-fi sample the wi-fi and it will then when you're done with this operation it'll basically show you the signal strength um that the, the machine is receiving hmm. in various locations um the good news about this is i mean it's probably kind of redundant with a mesh system but especially with uh older um or traditional wi-fi uh access points yeah um it, it, it will help you identify dead spots and you you could then maybe um you know change the location of your access point sure again mesh systems kind of do this for you but yeah but but it not not i mean they try to do their best but if you could if you know that you could move something to another location to spread it out better like NetSpot is the way to get that information. I know. I think NetSpot's great. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, another tool that lets you see what's going on in, in your world is um, Angry IP Scanner. And I don't All right. Know why they're so angry, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, you, you run it and it'll basically scan your network and show you the devices and ping and, and various things like that. Um, probably a good tool if you think that there's something wacky happening on your network or there's somebody on it that shouldn't be or a device, you know, um, is going haywire. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, interesting. I like it. Angry IP scanner. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Fast and friendly network scanner. I like mm -hmm. it. Cool. All um, right. Um, all right. Next segment. And, yeah. Um, well, last one. Uh, uh, okay. One more. Uh, okay. Thing Desktop I like. The, this came out recently, but it does um, health check for your network, uh, advanced speed testing, level one troubleshooting, notifications of connectivity issues. Yeah. Like every now and then it'll come up. So it, it's smart enough to know your ISP. Okay. Uh, um, and like every now and then, I'll get a notification and it'll be like, "Yeah, DHCP on Optimum is 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 sucking right now." Or, oh, interesting. Um, oh, there's a network outage in your neighborhood. So, interesting. Huh? Huh? I I haven't. I I mean, I've seen. I guess I no. I do run Fing Desktop. I haven't seen it. I guess I just haven't had those problems. <laughs> With Comcast or Consolidated, I've I've had it tell me that my max internet connection is offline, but I don't think I've had it tell me. That's interesting. That's really helpful. That's cool. Yeah, Fing, they've done great stuff there. I like those folks, for sure.